Hello, I'm Sheriff Matt Kendall. Well, folks, it's getting to be that time of year again. It's hot, dry, and as soon as the wind starts blowing, pg e will consider implementing a public safety power shutoff, also referred to as a PSPS. These events are weather dependent, which means they're, we're never going to be sure exactly when they're going to occur, but it may affect everyone in the county. It's easy to get angry with pg e for this inconvenience, but with the huge wildfires that have threatened California in the past few years, it's become a necessity. A PSPS and its intentional shutdown of the power grid by PG&E due to a combination of extreme winds and low humidity. By shutting off power, they hope to prevent down power lines from sparking and igniting brush, which can quickly spread to our beautiful forests and residential areas. Although power outages are an inconvenience to us, it's done in an effort to save lives and property. The best thing that we can do is prepare in case of a power outage. Over the next few weeks, we'll be posting information with the hope that reminders and tips of resources that we can share with you will help you and your loved ones get through this year's potential PSPS easier than what we did the year before. PG&E has assured us that they have improved their notification plans and depending on the weather and other factors, we'll make several attempts to send alerts to our customers throughout the automatic calls, text messages, and emails at intervals of 48 hours before, 24 hours before, and then one more just before they shut the power off. In addition, we'll be in contact with PG&E representatives and share information we receive from them with you. As mentioned earlier, we'll be posting resources and reminders so we can all be better prepared this year. But one thing you should absolutely do right now, if you use a medical uh, device or equipment that requires power, then you need to contact PG&E immediately to notify them at 1-800-743-5000. Make plans with your healthcare provider loved ones, and other people in the neighborhood so that they know how they can help you. Check with your provider and see if they have devices that are battery operated that you could purchase ahead of time. We're happy to answer as many of your questions as we can, but you should also follow pg e online on whichever platform you feel most comfortable using and feel free to speak with them directly. Be sure to visit pg e at the link that we provided below this video. Make sure that you're signed up for the PSPS alerts. And remember, we're all stronger together. Thank you.